for all parts of the world that they truly are world citizens when they come back with the relationships that they make. Uh, Robin, uh, before she went away, was the school captain at Coomer Anglican. Um, she's uh, a bit of a Tri-Nations person, having spent uh, six years of her life in South Africa, six in New Zealand, six in Australia. So I'm not sure who she barracks for, but it's probably South Africa. And uh, now one year in Ecuador. And would you all please welcome Robin Lee so she can tell us about her experiences. Thousands, but because 
each one of these experiences taught me valuable lessons. Lessons which cannot be gained through school or university, but lessons that can only be found when you're in the real world and out of your comfort zone. Alright, so, my experience number one. To most, arriving in a foreign country where you know no one, where no one knows you, and where you don't speak the language, is quite a daunting task. Some exchange students say that the daunting feeling eases when you meet your first host family, or some say the daunting feeling intensifies. <laughs> These are my first host parents, Felipe and Alexandra. He was uh, the owner of Toyota Loja, and she was a very successful businesswoman who owned her own um, clothing store. And, uh, and this is their house and where I would spend the next six months of my exchange. All right. The great thing about the first few weeks of arriving in a foreign country is how foreign everything seems. <laughs> you can't help but take pictures of roads and buildings and clocks and churches and trees and birds and signs and mountains. It's so overwhelming, fascinating, and intriguing at the same time. And of course the food. You're either going to love it or hate it in Ecuador. <coughs> Guinea pigs, known as cuy, are a delicacy over there. And you will find yourself eating a different type of banana for each day of the week. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And last but not least, being a Rotary Exchange student means going to school. An interesting task in Loja when the majority of the pupils have never seen a foreigner in their city before. Right, experience number two, my trip, my rotary trip to the Amazon rainforest. So I had just arrived in Ecuador, uh, spent two days there, and had to go on my first rotary trip. I was still jet lagged, and I actually got very sick from the food. They don't clean it very well, the water's unclean, so I think I got a bit of a bacteria. So I was on antibiotics, really, really sick, but I said, you know what, I'm going to go and do this or I'll regret it. So I went to the, uh, the rainforest. It was actually very strenuous because we did a lot of hiking. We, in this picture here, we hiked up to the top of a hill. Great view, but very difficult for me being on antibiotics. And then after that, we went down and pulled off in the Amazon River itself. But um, some of you might be thinking piranhas. There's no piranhas in Ecuador, they're in Brazil, so we were all right. <laughs> and we did trekking through all the different natives' villages, and there were lots of curious kids seeing all us white people walking through their homes. So I had to get a picture with one of them. We saw uh, how they would um, catch and kill their food, as you can see in this picture here. They have a a wooden stick that they've hollowed out and they put a big thorn in it they put poison on the end of the thorn which is generally from a frog and then they blow and they um, shoot the thorn into the animal and kill it and of course it's a bit dark but you can see I went um, tubing down the Amazon River and that was an experience when the rapids came we were going very fast but all good fun all right, so right after the Amazon, I went on another rotary trip to the Galapagos Islands. We had so many things to see on our trip there. Um, of course, one of them being seeing all the giant um, tortoises. And we also saw um, Lonesome George. We couldn't get close to him though. He was in an enclosure far away. But we got to see some of the other big ones. And I mean, as you can see, they are very, very big and, and quite scary as well, so we didn't want to get too close to them. So, those. Um, yeah, the most beautiful beaches I've seen in my life. I've seen my, my fair share of beaches, and Galapagos Islands, they're, they're indescribable. They're, the water is so blue, 